How do you determine which Portafab cleanroom system to use for a specific application? What I usually do with clients, and, and particularly when it comes to Portafab's products, is there's a unique or distinct reason why you would use the Pharma system or the Fab line. And the clean line kind of fills all the areas in between. When you've got a pharmaceutical system and you're concerned about having to do clean downs, regulatory issues, CGMP compliance, which tells you you have to have the coved corners and no flat surfaces, well then you automatically default to the pharma system. Now when you're doing ISO 54321 clean rooms, the cleanest clean rooms, and you're using them for wafer fabs or semiconductor chip factories, that's when you default to the fab line. The reason why you use the fab line is it's demountable, it's made out of aluminum honeycomb systems, and the reason why they use aluminum honeycomb is it doesn't powder or when you cut it or when you cut into it, aluminum honeycomb, basically when you cut through it, it comes off in chips and those chips fall out of the airstream, they don't get airborne. So you have distinct reasons why you use those two systems. The clean line system has features that fab line and pharma system don't have, but in most instances are more beneficial to certain clients. That is that the clean line system can be self-supporting, so it can support itself. The clean line system has panel options that can give you R value or insulating value. And it's also a system that can be utilized more as multiple rooms and so forth. It's not as dependent upon the structure that you're hanging it from or the area that you're putting it into. So the clean line system becomes a clean room in and of itself, but not just the clean room, it becomes the outside environment that forms the clean room. And that's different from when you use the pharma system or when you use the fab line system from that standpoint.